tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Denver Broncos and the Dallas Cowboys. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. a bootleg with Prescott looking left side and he's got a man that's Elliott and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 19 yards right off the bat and a quick first down and he is the NFC reigning offensive player of the week you gotta think all the guys that take the field each and every week that's that's not an easy award always has to feel good to grab it has to feel great because it separates you at least for a week amongst your peers and for him to separate again he has to have the same type of a game that means being explosive off the line of scrimmage and catching everything that comes his way Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Prescott down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Prescott from the gun. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage. Back at the 17. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. On third down, it's Prescott. 
And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. We're hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the opening drive. So not only was it a flipping field position and a flipping fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. They were hoping to force him into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big gain, and now it's first and goal. The offense has got them on their heels. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down so often you hear that pep talks don't really work in the heat of the battle but collectively this defense has to say to each other we've been on our heels this whole first drive this is where we need to dig in and they got a nice stop right there for a loss on he rifles one that's intercepted aj boyer with a pick and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back so far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, hey, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well. And now look at him go. He's at the 50, 30, 20. 10, and all the way home for a Broncos score. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. The extra point. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll finally be taken out of bounds just past the 40. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott to throw it. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Returnable here for Davis. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Now Locke. 
And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Lock on target there to Fant, the tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Faking the give to Lindsay. Here's Locke. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Let's take it on the 25. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. 47-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Down. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, Elliott. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and they think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up four. It's fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Running with Elliott. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. To throw his press gun. Able to hit his target lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! CD Lamb. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They're on the 25 yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Locke. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, Mostert. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of two brings up third and less than a yard. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and the Broncos are going to have a new set of downs. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Gets through, and now an opening. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Brandon Jones. It's a gain of 20. First down, Broncos. Lock on the give, it's Lindsey. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Here's Mostert. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Shotgun snap and again to Lindsey. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 zip. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot. before that position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. When you kick off and you go downfield and get the ball back, that's what I call a great opportunity. In a one-score game, I always circle, and you know this, but in my play-by-play -play sheet, I circle big plays. It could be turning points. This could be a turning point. Did you put a second circle around this one? This I put a star. Big. I put a star. <laughs> Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and get it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Shotgun snap to lock. He's got his tight end fan. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Lock on target to Fant for a Bronco first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight end, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. On second down, it's Lindsey. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Room here to run. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Broncos have once again taken the lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic. 
and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Prescott, flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Flushed out right. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. A wide open, complete. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A full 40 yards that time on third down as the chains move with a lot of room to spare. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Pass on target, Prescott to Cooper. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. He'll get 5 out of the scramble. It's second down. Second and 5 at the 5 yard line. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his 17th touchdown now on the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. and Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Play action. Now it's lock. Dancing to his left. This is the tight end fan. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 17. First and 10, here's Locke. 
And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. Leads to second and ten. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll run with Muhammad. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. By Reggie Robinson. A gain of two yards on the play. Brings up fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Lock. He's got his big tight end fan. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Those <laughs> guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. It's now third and eight. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Prescott being chased out left. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. And when a free safety goes like he did there, he better be sure he's going to be able to make a play. Oh, no, there's no doubt about it because I have a feeling that the defensive coordinator and head coach are on the sideline screaming, no, no, no. Good play. Yeah, good, good job, play. buddy. He can't bring him down. Now a hit and a loose football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble. But if you do, good to be towards the sideline. and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment. Saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, well, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let a, you go. I took a shot. And he'll be out right at the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. to the ground, this time Moster. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. yards on the pickup. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Working out of the gun. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. the 
gun. Lock. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? On the carry, it's Muhammad. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Here's Mostert, toss left side. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third and long, it's Locke. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Denver. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11. At the Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Lindsey, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. He's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. On the option, Locke will keep it. They'll try to run with Lindsey, and he'll get nothing out of that one. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. No gain on the play. It's now fourth and goal. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. One final try for Locke. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. Back. 
Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see. It's Cowboys, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Dallas, they're not going to go quietly here as the win moves them now to 8-6 and six on the year. And they'll have another home date. You, you trade that man. Right. So who the fuck, well, how much is Lamar's contract? Um, he, he, paid, he paid in the full contract. Yeah, what? Because uh, it should be over $100 million. There's no way in hell the team doesn't even have $300 million. That's beyond salary cap. Four plus, uh... <laughs> Sorry, nigga. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to walk up in that bitch. Somebody, I'm making that league die if I'm in that bitch, bro. Okay. I'm okay. killing that bitch. Okay, I, I did, I, I did, I, I did clear everybody cap at, at, at the beginning of the season. I so know that he not automatically in the playoff. All right, so and, so anyway, so so anyway, I got the Seahawks and and, and I got a loaded loaded secondary. So at, so at first it was high twenty one all in the first quarter. Then then he fucking wide cap me with with Tyreek Why didn't why didn't you sign Lamar Jackson? Because I because I have Russell Wilson. Okay, my point exactly. Why wouldn't you go out and get Lamar whatever quarterback you got? Drop him, trade him. Because because I can win with Wilson, and I load. Facts. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Where the fuck you would go for? Where the fuck would you go for Lamar? Oh no no no! He's got forever players. I forgot about that. Yeah yeah yeah. So, so, so Russell Wilson's like twenty. Not twenty. <laughs> Yes, well, yes, Russell Wilson. I forgot 20. about that part. B Bobby Russell Magna. Wilson just got out of high school. No, Bo and and Russell Wilson's not making any money because his salary is zero. Exactly. Wow. So, so oh, let me guess. <laughs> so let me guess. Mahomes, they may have no money on him, huh? Not, nah, nah, he's a, he got to be thirty. Not, so they got to be thirty or 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 older to be a forever player. Yes. They they go mm -hmm. down to twenty and then they contract is nothing. So so ba so basically, I spent all my money I had on defense. So I brought in Von Miller. I brought in Carlton Davis. Of, who, of course, Von Miller's twenty as well, right? Now actually, for, um, Von Miller is is at thirty three. So why do you bring him in if he's about to retire? Well, Pass us. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, my team was like thirteen to three last year, but but we how didn't many, get how a many lot of for, sacks. How many forever players you got, Cam? Um, two, two. It's only two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That means she knows she did it. We're playing in the morning. Yeah. She was an accomplice. David, I'm going to load up. Mm-hmm. We already set that heist up, that new one. Oh, uh, you some hoes. Y'all some hoes. That's well, what I'm I don't even know where you... You are. You don't ever even show up. You some hoes. Uh, here you go. David made me pay for the damn game. You don't even load up with that. Mm, Cause you don't never play it. We do play. You know what you say? Load up on wars only, on. That's all you say. Cause your bum ass comes in the chat, talks for five minutes, and then disappears. Stop talking to us. Well, here we go. I already knew that shit was gonna go. happen the moment here that bullshit happened. Go. I knew what the fuck was coming the moment I heard this shit, bro. As soon as I saw he did, I was like, I'm never gonna hear this shit. The end of this shit. Mm. 
I even give the man his props on it, but he act like he just that nigga just act like he just like he just bossed me or something. Man, <laughs> That's because I was shocked he I still mean, had I, the ball in there. I hand. mean, man, that. that. They all were on the sideline, bro. I walked over there. They're like, bro, don't worry. We all thought he was. We all thought. We all thought you did right too, bro. There's like, there's nothing you can do about it. I was like, that shit crazy, bro. Well, no, I know, but bro, I hit the shit out of that ball, dog. I don't give a fuck. I swat the shit out of that ball, bro. Yeah, but I mean, that's you not dropping it then at that point. You know what I'm saying? It was a block. You know, it's not a block. 